uh, hello so in the last video we have seen how uh, data goes into the self-attention and um, we got this result today we'll see the uh, the normalization which is technically speaking uh, called layer normalization so let me divide this into two this layer normalization uses uh, this formula it might actually look very familiar to the batch normalization formula there uh, only there is uh, some slight variation times some parameters gamma bet, uh, and beta so this is the formula that this layer normalization uses and um, a, I will show you the difference between this and batch normalization. So the data that comes out of the self attention was this 1.6 0.3 okay so we will use this formula and on this data and this is x right the if you can remember we had is is was three kind of input size number of what in your input sentence and we had e which was two so the dimension of X is still is by e all right so what we need to do right now is to compute the expected value and the variance then plug it in the formula to get y so the expected value of x which is like the mean is uh, this I have already calculated it uh, it is this how did I get 1.0 for example well uh, I just add this 1.6 plus 0 0.3 then divide by e which is 2 so unlike in, uh, in batch normalization where the mean is calculated across different dimensions of the futures here it is calculated across different uh, different kind of training examples so if it was in batch normalization, the dimension will be output dimension will be e, but here it is is by one, is. Okay. Now let's compute the variance. The variance of x. Let's remind ourselves on the variance formula. It is this. Uh, then squared divided by e. So typically in batch normalization, uh, though in typical variance formula, it is divided by kind of S, I, S, or maybe N number of uh, number of examples, but here it is based on the dimension, embedding dimension. So I have calculated the variance, which is this. How did I get 0 0.4 for example? Well, using the formula, you just say 1.6 minus 1.0, 1.6 minus the mean squared plus 0 0.3, the 0 0.3 minus its mean, then squared, then you add them, then you divide by E, which is 2. Similarly, 0 0.1. You say 1.9 minus 1.6 squared plus 1.3 minus 1.6 squared then you add them then you divide by e that's how you can get 0 0.1 okay then we need to compute the square root of the variance i've already done it it is by the way these uh, numbers might not be precisely i might make some mistakes while uh, calculate making these calculations Okay, 0 0.3, 1.1. The variance, square root of variance dimension is Rs by 1. So 
we have the expected goal, we have the variance, we just need to plug that into the formula. This epsilon, uh, it is zero for simplicity in this example, and we can forget about these other parameters. Uh, when you uh, put the variance and the expected value in the formula, you will end up with this result. Which also has a dimension of is by e. And this is the output of the normalization or layer normalization, which is different from batch normalization. Thank you.